so this is my nokia lumia 625 uh, with 512mb ram running windows 10 so uh, as you can see here there is no lags or bugs whatsoever let me show you lumia 625 hello guys welcome to another video of my channel so today in this video i'm going to show you guys how you can update any windows phone to windows 10 so since microsoft have entered the support for windows there's no way that we could get online updates so the only way that you can turn to update a windows phone now is by manually installing a windows 10 update using a pc that is called the offline method so as a result of the end of support many apps like the whatsapp has stopped working on the platform and for the windows 8.1 users the situation is even worse they can't even access the store and install new apps so by this method almost all windows phone can be updated in windows 10 but but according to microsoft the phone should have at least one gb of ram installed on it as a minimum recommends that the microsoft is claiming and they have also listed a number of devices on windows devices that can support windows and that is the lumi icon 1520 930 640 640xl 730 735 832 535 540 635 1gb variant 636 1gb variant 638 1gb variant 430 435 and the rest of these phones so if your phone isn't on this list don't worry because in this method we can update any windows phone like i mentioned before any windows phone even if uh, the phone has 512 mb ram the windows 10 will run smoothly on these phones so to begin with first download the windows 10 mobile offline updater from the description below so first uh, go to the download file and extract the file but uh, make sure that when extracting use 7 zip do not use winrar or winzip so the reason why i am choosing uh, 7 zip over winrar is that uh, sometimes when, while we extract a file using winrar uh, you may lose some files. Show you an example later. So after extracting the file, open the Windows 10 mobile update.zip and there are two folders 7, 8, 7, 8, 8.12 Windows 10 and Windows 10 to latest list on. So open Windows 7, 8, 8.12 Windows 10 and there we have again two compressed files. Extract these files again with 7 zip do not use winrar so this will take a while so after the extraction uh, this folder called windows mobile offline updater you can find three folders like the second generation, third generation, fourth generation. So uh, the next step you need to do is to find your phone from these folders. Uh, in this folder we can find a number of resolution and some devices uh, running windows. In the third generation folder we have uh, again a number of models running windows. And the fourth generation too a number of models running windows OS for example if you have a lumia 625 uh, for lumia 625 the resolution is 418 to 800 so copy the 418 to 800 folder and paste it on uh, the itool 2015 folder Now go to local disk C, uh, open windows, search for system32. And inside system32 search for CMD. Copy 
copy that cmd file and paste it on the iu tool 2015 folder so now uh, connect your uh, mobile phone windows phone to the pc using a data cable open cmd and near the itool 2015 type iu tool space dash l press enter and on pressing enter uh, you can see the full details of your phone uh, friendly name windows phone that's my phone uh, manufacturer in microsoft mdg model lumia 950 x so now uh, again in the second uh, line type iu tool space capital letter v space dash small p and press enter and when pressing enter uh, the pc will start transferring the windows name mobile update files to the windows phone and you can see it uh, below here so i am not uh, doing this again because i have already updated my phone to windows 10 so after transferring the files the at the last line it will be shown update started and uh, make sure that your phone uh, have at least 60 percentage of charge and the number of files transferring all the time it takes depends completely on your windows phone model when i updated my lumia 625 132 files were transferred and if you do the same with the lumia 635 162 files will be transferred so it completely depends on your windows phone model so after the transferring process if you go to settings and open the phone update you can see that the phone is downloaded in the windows 10 update so this is my Nokia Lumia 625 uh, with 512MB RAM running Windows 10. So uh, as you can see here there is no lags or bugs whatsoever. Let me show you Lumia 625. But if you go to settings and uh, go for the about phone section You can see that my phone model name is named as Lumia 950XL The reason for this is that the Lumia 950XL was one of the first phone from Microsoft running Windows 10 as its default OS So what have we done here is that we have installed the patch of 950XL and that's why we have got the model name as 950XL but originally uh, the device is still the Lumia 625 and the installed RAM is 512 MB. The original Lumia 950XL have 3 GB of RAM installed on it. So the change in the model name has nothing to do with the performance of the device. So you don't have to worry about uh, anything after the update. And if you are having any sorts of trouble in follow my instructions or are having any error while doing this update process, please feel free to uh, write it down in the comment section. So happy updating and thanks for watching.